Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. It is time for another fireside morning chit chat stream. And I, for one, am very excited about it. What about you, Mr. Wellington? What about you, Mr. Wellington? I'll let you go back to your Bugs Bunny in a minute. Oh, what a face. Oh, goodness. There's the numbers. See, we get to Mr. Wellington on screen. And we get the big numbers, don't we, boy? Yeah. Judge my baby. Mm hmm You hear your cousins upstairs? Look at this belly. Look at this belly. Look at this belly. Mwah. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at his little lip. Look at his little lip. Look at it. Oh my god. Ah, quality. This is quality content, everyone. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. This is just really good quality stuff. All right. So good morning, everyone. That was Mr. Wellington. Mr. Orson Wellington. And he's had a big morning. Had him a good breakfast. Went outside several times. He did really good, actually. He slept the whole night through with no accidents. So this boy's turning into a big boy. He turning into a big boy is all I know. Ain't it? You a good boy, Mr. Orson Wellington? Huh? Okay. I'll hold your head. I'll hold your head. Good morning to you queens, Sussy, Haley, Cadis. I am so happy to see you all here. Thank you for being here. Good morning to those of you that are lurking in the lagoon as well. Oh, there's not much better than a good puppy sniff. They just smell so good. They just smell so good, don't they, boy? Oh, he's so warm and sweet. I just love him so much. So, how is everyone? How is everybody? We're going to do a little fireside chat this morning. I am not going to do a gaming stream today because I have bread to make. I also really wanted to edit the videos that I do have already, that I have already recorded and haven't gotten to and don't want to just do on my phone like the Orlog video like the bread video, um, and like the Tasty Turnip Treat Topper Temptation follow-up video. So, I have a lot of stuff that I need to work on otherwise, but I thought it would be still be really nice to have a nice little fireside chit-chat in the morning. Oh, well, hi there, RJ City. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Orson is Mr. Cuteness. I love my thumbnail because I feel like he's like the little inspector that pops in to make sure everything's up to code. It's so sweet. It's so sweet, boy. Him's had a good pampering this morning. Got all his creams and lotions and ointments on and took all his medicines. Oh, the big sigh. And now he's getting little ear massages. Oh, this boy. Oh, this boy. Good morning, TJ Davis. Okay. Okay. As you guys can see, the uh, the fireplace back here has gained a a couple of uh, uh, you know wh what are they called? Um, well, I don't know. But for those of you that were asking, I think it was Sussy, right? You were asking about decorating for Christmas. Well, there's a Christmas alpaca on my fireside on my fireplace right now, and he's very festive. I don't have a name for him, but he's the Christmas alpaca. 
And he's going to hang out on my fireplace in the meantime. Why not? It's been a busy morning here. Very, very busy. And now, and this boy was so crazy. And then, all of a sudden, then he's not. Then he's not crazy. Then he gets not crazy. Hi. Everybody wants to see you, Mr. Wellington. You're the star of the stream, Mr. Wellington. You gotta give the people what they want, Mr. Wellington. What do people want, Mr. Wellington? Mm. Look at them toe beans. Toe beans, toe beans, toe beans, toe beans. We gotta come up with the rest of the toe beans song. Here you go, baby. You relax. You relax. I'll just hold you here. I'm gonna pull my mic a little closer so that I don't have to stretch so far. And you guys can see a baby Wellington getting him sleep on. So, how is everyone? Haley's doing good. It's, oh, good lord, who would want beer at 8 a.m.? Whoo! Whoo! Or maybe it just rhymed, and that I can understand. Oh, Haley says, oh, for Pasta Boy, or Orso, little Orso. You are a little Orso. You are a little Pasta Boy. You are. He's, listen, Amber, my sister, said she was going to start calling him, like, or start calling it noodle mode when I pick him up. Because he'll be crazy, but I, if, I, if I pick him up, he imme immediately goes limp and his legs become like little noodles. And she's like, he goes full noodle mo mode every time you pick him up. So I think Pasta Boy is an appropriate nickname for little Mr. Wellington, Haley. Thank you for that very generous tribute to the stream and to this boy. I agree that he deserves it. Look at that. Precious. What a baby. What a baby. What a baby. Maybe I can point it down just a hair. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. Huh. Sussie's a big fan of the Christmas alpaca. Me too. Me too, Sussie. I thought the Christmas... We need to name the Christmas alpaca. We haven't done that, and we need to. Good morning, Big Daz. I am well, thank you for asking. Or hoping it, I suppose. Gotta have a booster jab today. Not looking forward to the needle, but as needs to be done. Man, so I had the um, the Pfizer one, and I read a thing this morning saying how it was proven to be effective against the the new variant, the Omicron one or whatever, and I was like, good. Like, I understand, like, I'm not crazy about needles. I don't have a fear of them like some people, but I'm also not crazy about them. I can't watch them go in. I have to look away. If I look away, I'm fine. You can draw blood. You can do, you know, whatever you need to do. But I am glad that I got it done. So good for you. Good for you, Big Daz. This boy is asleep. Albert the Christmas Alpaca is pretty good, TJ Davis. Albert the Alpaca, period. And I wonder... Uh, no, he's got a little hat. I'm like, I could always take his little scarf off and he could just be an alpaca. But he's got a little hat that's sewed on, I think. Albert. Or. Yeah, Albert. That's the inspector. Tie five. Bloop, bloop, good morning to you. The inspector. The inspector, he's very tuckered out now, as you can see. He's very tuckered out. No more floating boy, but yeah, he had to come and, uh, you know, inspect the the new additions I've made to the uh, to the set here. We got Albert the alpaca. I like Albert pretty good. I just tell them to warn me and then do a slow exhale until the hit. They're like, okay, here it comes, and then 
And I will just keep breathing out until they do it. And I'm like, I need you to do it, like, in that breath so that I can, like, keep it steady. It's just something to focus on. It helps me. It helps me. Isn't that right, boy? This boy had to get his shot. She did so good. He did so good. It was so pitiful. This little baby just go, ah, when he got God. Oh, my baby. He trusted me. He trusted me. He's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that baby. Oh, that baby. Oh, Josh, baby. Gonna have to put him. I'm gonna have to put him. Yeah. Yes, on the back of him bed, let him get some rest. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. I think Albert's pretty great. I really do. Every day there's something new in the background. Yep, we've got Albert the alpaca, and we've also got my uh, my. Treant uh, incense burner back there that I'm a big fan of. Uh, it was it was my dad's and now it's mine, and it's a it's a it's a treant. It's a it's a tree and he hold, he's holding the incense burner in his hands, and it's very cool and I like it a lot. So I don't have any incense sticks to burn in Mr. Treebeard back there, but. But, uh, one day I will. Maybe I'll put some on my wish list. He growing up, being a big boy. He was. He's such a good boy. He did so good. Didn't you, boy? Didn't you? You did so good. You did so good. So brave. So brave. Ooh, got the cleanest ears. Oh, the cleanest ears. They, they clean, look how clean. You can see how clean them ears is from here. You can see it. Them's a perfect, pristine ears. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. Oh my God. The ears. Hi. Hi. Oh, snorzen. The snorzen borson orson. The snorzen orson. this baby look what a precious oh what a cute as the Kyrie Sane would say I did Queen's Army I immediately changed the address on the wish list thank you I thought I did that I really did um, but apparently I had not or it didn't save one of the two and some, sometimes when you do stuff like that on your phone I feel like it doesn't go through and I needed to be on my desktop when I did it. And I'm guessing that's probably what happened. But thank you for giving me the heads up. I, Your comment had only been up like an hour when I saw it. So I'm hoping that wasn't too much of an inconvenience. So thank you. Thank you for watching out for me, queens. Wait, like an int. Yes. Yes. Like, a, like actually tree beard. Yes. It's actually tree beard. It is. But it's also from like the 70s. It's Treebeard like before the Lord of the Rings was super commercialized and made into like a bunch of movies and stuff. It was like you know, it was still super popular and uh, yeah. Hold on. Jeez boy. Okay. Come here. Come here. Let, oh, let's show them Treebeard. He's my favorite. Look at him. See? You can see where I burned the cones as well, but they work. But yeah, this is an old school tree beard incense burner. See how he holds it and you put the stick in his mouth and it sticks out and then you burn it and then it catches it here. Or you can just do what I did and burn the cones there. That works too. I missed you, Wellington. I missed you, Wellington. I miss 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 you, Wellington. 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 
I'm Mr. Wellington. I'm Mr. Wellington. A Wellington. Oh, Mr. Wellington. Oh, Willy Billy. Oh, Willy Billy. Willy Billy. Willy Billy. Play the Willy Billy drums. Play the Willy Billy drums. He's a Willy Billy. He's a boy. Oh, I don't know the rest of this song, boy, but I'll figure it out for you. You've seen that before? It was on my desk? Yep, it sure was. But I thought it looked cooler on the uh, little fireplace back there. Especially if I do happen to get him, you know, smoking. I think that'll look pretty awesome. This fireplace thing is amazing. This is the most amazing thing. It's like I could not have discovered a better uh, background set piece for my setup. It's really my favorite thing. It can blow... It can bl blow just a fan... It can be just visual. It obviously can blow heat. There's like a little box thing at the bottom that blows heat if you want. And so nothing on top gets hot. It doesn't get hot at all on the top. It's, it's amazing. It's basically a little space heater, but it looks super cool, right? It fits my motif. It's it's basically like, you know, you guys heard me talk about wanting a wood-burning stove forever. Forever. And granted, that is not a real wood-burning stove. But it looks like one, and it kind of feels like one. And sometimes I forget that it's not real when I look at it. So the old cartoon. Definitely, there was. What year was that cartoon? The old Lord of the Rings cartoon. Was that like 80s, maybe? I feel like that was maybe 80s. TJ Davis, big fan of the 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 tree beard. Uh, Incense burner. I am too. It's it's one of my favorite things. Good morning, law dog. Lovely to see you. You can't wait for him to open his Christmas gift. Should I wrap them? Um, that's up to you, Ty Five. Completely up to you. He will enjoy it regardless. I think. The queens wanted to hear the tune. It's very very old school classic country folk. <laughs> But it was the drums. Like that welly belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't stop snugs in this boy. I can't stop myself. Him just so sweet. Him so sweet. The sweetest. The sweetest little welly belly. Aren't you? You guys... Is my favorite. First of all, look at these Tobies. Look at this sleepy boy. Look at these Toby. Oh, you won't in your bed. Okay, say goodbye to everyone. Not goodbye, but just say. Say, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to my bed now. Yes, always. Mm. Yes. Good day. Look at these ears. Look at them ears shake. Good lord. Okay, my boy. In your bed you go. You got your Bugs Bunny. You got your toys. And yes, Big Daz, I did put his uh, teething toy in the freezer. I have one in there right now. The one that is in his bed is not cold, but he does have one waiting on him, and he enjoyed it quite a bit. So that was a great tip. Thank you, Big Daz, for that one. I appreciate that. So, a little coffee, here we go, a little coffee time. Coffee time, coffee time, everybody, coffee time. Everyone's enjoying the, the new set, the new setup. We're very close to doing a setup tour, but not quite. I want to get my VR area prepared, and it's not quite there yet. But it's coming along. It's coming along nicely, and I'm excited. I'm looking at it right now. Very excited about it. I made a lot of progress yesterday. Gonna make more progress today. Go on, you chewing on your bugs bunny. Huh? 
This morning, Sussy looked for Chex Mix recipes in German that somehow don't exist. There are a billion recipes in English. Looking forward to the fame of the recipe. I think you'll be... It's, like, surprising and also... Um, it's kind of surprising. I Listen, I... For my entire childhood and a big part of my adulthood, I only ever got our Chex Mix the way we make it at family gatherings mostly like holidays and stuff. So I would go home and I would visit over the holidays and we would be having, there would be a huge bowl of Chex Mix. And my aunt was the one, my aunt Debbie was the one who is, she was like the Chex Mix queen. All right. At least as far as I remember, I'm I'm sure there was someone before her that was the Chex Mix queen, but me growing up, she always had the Chex Mix there. I loved getting it. It was so good. Just so good. And I thought it was some huge, involved process to make this Chex Mix. I assumed, I mean, it was something that they labored for hours and hours over making, especially making huge amounts of it, like like they would make for the holidays in my family. I'm like, oh my God, this must have taken days and just been so much work and whatever. And so I never asked for the recipe. I was just like, oh, well, I'll just have to enjoy it when I'm home and, you know, and make the most of it. But then, I don't know, it was like maybe a year ago, I went home and I'm like, you know what? What is the recipe? Like, I need the recipe. Like, hey, Debbie, I need the recipe. Could you help me? Could you just like send it over? And she did. And I was floored. For one, at how simple it was. How simple and relatively cheap it was to make this Chex Mix. And flexible, for one, it was like, you can really do whatever you want, okay? But it's pretty basic on the ingredients, pretty standard, everything is to taste, um, and and it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's so easy, it almost feels bad, okay? You almost feel bad about it being so easy, really. And, uh, and so I made it all the time, and the BRE house was obsessed with it. Even Thai Five had some. Thai Five had some of the extra, extra spicy Chex Mix that I made because I was like, a little flavor was good, but let's add more flavor. And then it was just like, whoo, it had some heat. It had a kick to it. It was good, but it definitely had a kick. Um, so I was experimenting a little bit with it, but it's good. You guys are, are, I think that will be a fun, fun little stream. And good night, Orson. Oh, him's all curled up. Makes me so happy. The setup looks more more home, homely. Homey or homely? See, I always thought homely was kind of, not an, not really an insult, but it's like if you saw someone and they looked kind of plain and kind of plain, you might call them kind of homely, and it's not exactly a nice thing that you would say. It's not, I mean, you might not be being really mean when you say it, but it's also not necessarily a compliment. But I don't think that's what you meant. But I'm just, has anyone else heard that? Homey versus homely. Homely is like, oh, uh, they're kind of, kind of plain and kind of, you know, I don't know how to explain it without sounding like an asshole. <laughs> um, the wife's checks mix is like crack. Well, we always said that we thought my Aunt Debbie had sprinkled crack or something on the checks mix to make it so addictive because you can't stop eating it. And, and they have to make just, you know, piles and piles of it to even make it through the holidays. So I, I, I feel you on that. Homely is earthy, dirty, run down. Homie. <laughs> my homie. There's also, yeah, my homies. Interesting. I, but I, I enjoy this very earthy. It's like my little hobbit hole. It really is. You know, at first I was like, oh, the concrete wall, I can put whatever I want on that. And then I'm like, or I could just leave it a concrete wall and, you know, do what I'm doing right now, which I'm enjoying doing. So this is, it's just, it's just good. It's just good. It's just good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. My little fireplace is, this was like my greatest find. That little fireplace was my greatest find. I'm like, who's just, I was like, who's just leaving this down here? What are you doing? You know? And then my sister was like, well, no, use it. Take it. Take it. And I'm like, I'm going. And to turn on the heat this morning. So it'll kick out a little heat. 
and uh, and warm up my floor and my my area a little bit. Most of the time, I don't have to have it on. I have it just on the visual. But if it gets really cold down here, it's a nice little way to... It's a little space heater, you know? It's really nice. I really enjoy it. It's really, really, you know, really, really nice. Queens is off to work. I will enjoy my day. You do the same, Queens. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for giving me the heads up about my wish list. I appreciate that. And, uh... I hope that work does not suck and you have a wonderful day. Definitely leave it a concrete wall. Yeah, right? Like, it's kind of cool. Also, how many how many streamer background setups have you seen that is literally a concrete wall? That also, by the way, I think looks cool uh, fixed up the way I have it. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely a six-foot-tall hobbit. I, I definitely got... I got some... I got some hobbit blood in me, I think, because I'm... I enjoy the, you know, let me, let me nestle in my little hobbit hole and fix it up, make it all cozy. And like, that's very fitting for me. Do I already have an idea of what I'd like to play next to Valhalla? Hmm. Well, as soon as I get the headphones for my PS5, I would like to play some Demon Souls because I think it's a good contrast. All right. Um, Demon's Souls will probably be one of the first things I get on my PS5, uh, to play through, rather, and I'm excited about that. There's also a game called Icarus that I am very interested in, and I would like to play some. And it's on PC, it's a survival RPG, I think it has some co-op options that you can play with other people. So, it looks really cool, I would like to play some Icarus. Um, we have Valhalla, of course... I would like to play, I have been, um, you know, doing my best to convince RJ City to play some Sea of Thieves with me. And whether it's we play it live on my stream one day, or we could do some pre-recorded videos, because he keeps telling me there's these, like, Pirates of the Caribbean um, quest lines that are really fun. And he's like, we could do, we could just, like, record those and play them, and they would be great. And I would like to do that. So, if, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in some Sea of Thieves, that could be a fun day. Or, sorry, a fun video, I think. I'm not lying. I was super hype about the thing. About the heater, yeah. Yes. Yes, I was. I did. And Ty 5 was one of them. I'm like, look at this. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> look what I found. I felt like I had just, you know, struck gold. A survival R RPG. It's called Icarus. I need to... Find a thing to send you, Tafai. So you can see what it is I'm talking about. It's got more of a space theme to it. Icarus trailer. But it's it's interesting. It's interesting. Here we go. Copy. I'm sending it to you, Tai Five. And maybe perhaps you could send it. Or put it in the in the in the chat. There you go. It's one minute long. It's a one minute long official trailer. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Anytime anytime my brother tells me a game is good and I should check it out, I get excited. <laughs> has the Ninja Turtle game come out yet? It has not. Which is another reason why RJ and I just kinda gave up on it. We were like, let's just play something else. I'm like, he loves Sea of Thieves. He's plays it religiously. Um, he saves up all his money. He doesn't spend it on anything. And, um, and I really want to play it with him. Would you just look at it? That's how I was. Space? Okay, I might like it. It's a good, it's a good blend. It's not the typical, like, straight up, I don't know. It, it's a, you know, but it, but the mechanics are similar, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta chop rocks, chop down trees, you gotta build stuff, and, you know, that kind of thing. So, that one is very interesting to me. I would like to play it. I'm probably going to play it, but I'm also gonna be, you know, creative about the content stuff, like, what I actually stream live you know, I, I will not necessarily stream live every single game that I play. I may record gameplay footage um, and upload videos of it, but not necessarily live streams. But then sometimes maybe I will, you know? I want to get creative. I like that. I want to get creative. Thank you to everyone that has liked this video. I officially have more people 
uh, that have liked the video than are actually here right now, which is a great sign. That's actually not a bad sign. I find that very heartwarming and humbling that people would show up and leave a like and then go on about their day. It re really actually makes me feel very good. So if you are one of those people, you've showed up, whether you're a subscriber, whether you're not a subscriber, or you're a full-blown member and have been for almost two years, please remember to leave a like on this video because that is the only thing I genuinely, truly ask people to do regularly. If, if you watch my channel and are entertained, even for just a few moments, I would, I would ask that you leave a like on the video. And then I honestly am completely fine with you watching whatever you want on my channel, guilt-free. Okay. You do not feel like you need to owe me anything. You don't need to do anything else to support. That is the support. The like on the video is the support. And if you guys would be really diligent about always liking the video, m my numbers and everything will continue to go up and my videos will continue to be shared by the YouTube algorithm because it is viewed as something that is, uh, is quality, right? The more people that like it, YouTube's like, oh, this must be really good quality because a lot of people are liking it and more than normal, right? More than normal. Oh, shit. Dang. My sister broke a crown. Oh, on her tooth. That sucks. Holy shit. I was like, you gotta call the dentist right now. Oh, my God. I bet they don't open till nine. Ugh. Oh. First impression, holy shit, the graphics. That's a good first impression. Um, Demon Souls, Sea of Thieves, sounds awesome. Icarus looks interesting. Sussy, I like all of these takes on everything. When you hear survival, you think of the long dark. The long dark is more of a survival game. Like hardcore, I would say like hardcore survival game. Um... You know, survival RPG, I sometimes think of like a Project Zomboid. Ark is a good example of a survival RPG. Um, trying not to freeze to death in a tent, no thanks. <laughs> I enjoy the struggling against the elements aspect of games, though. Get to have games that aren't work. Right, which is, you know, oftentimes, like, I don't play things, y'all, that I don't really enjoy. Um... But occasionally I will start a game and finishing it is difficult because if I stop having fun with it, it's like, uh, it does start to feel like work. I, you know, the game that I'm actually most disappointed that I felt that way about was uh, Psychonauts. Psychonauts was a game I was very excited about. I played the old one back in like 2004 or whatever, like way back. And I was so excited about the sequel and it was really cool and I liked the game. But then it just started to drag on as we got closer to the end. And it started to feel like work. And the last couple streams, I was just like, ugh. Like, can I just, I want to be done. You know? Like, I want to be done. And sometimes that's not always the game's fault. Sometimes that's me. Sometimes it's whatever. But, like, that one, that, that one I struggled with. And I was very, I was all, I was very sad about that. High fives down to watch Icarus. I'm sure, though, yep, those are the reactions about my sister's crown. Oof. Oh, my God. Good. She already she already did and has an appointment at 2 today, which is still no fun having to wait until, you know, God, five hours to even go. What? Could you please not play Medieval Dynasty Live? Do a pre-recorded video. I do actually want to do more of that because there are games like Medieval Dynasty that you could benefit from having uh, edited videos and skipping a lot of the boring stuff. Because even I know, like, that's sometimes that stuff is kind of boring. But then I'm also like, but the trade-off is maybe it's boring, but that's a good opportunity for me to interact with the chat room. I have time. It allows me to pay attention to the chat more when a game is like that. So it, it's a, it just depends, you know, what, what I'm in the mood for. Has the Medieval Dynasty already got the third-person perspective? I do not know, and perhaps someone that is playing it or has played it more recently than I have can answer that. Because I don't know. I know it was really high up on their list of things that they wanted to do, though, Sussy. 
Oh, TJ Davis means you got to have games that aren't streams or YouTube videos. Me games. I call those games. Those are me games. Those are games that I play just for me, uh, just to enjoy, just to just to unwind, just to you know relax. And I'll be honest, a lot of those games are VR games. I will throw on my VR headset and I will play Tetris or I will play The Climb or I will play the you know Rush or I will play I will play VR games that I enjoy as just kind of a little it's a little me time you know I don't have to worry about recording it or streaming it or whatever but I will say I've told this to people before I'm like it does it did surprise me how you I start to feel like I can't, I don't want to play anything because I'm like, oh, I should save it for a video. Or, oh, you know, you start to feel like you can't do anything because you're like, oh, I'm wasting content. I should do this for a video. I should do that for a video. It's really a slippery slope to fall down, and you don't want to get caught up doing that. So, absolutely, I think it is important to schedule games that are just for me, just for fun. Good morning, Koozie. I'm so happy to see you. How are you feeling? High five's talking about Psychonauts. The game would not end. That's how I felt, and I was really ready for it to end. I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I did think Raz was very cute. Um, but, man, I just was ready for it to be over. Tie five does not want to meet little Rasimir. But our wife is pregnant. We gotta see what happens with little Rasimir. I really want to get my Steam Deck. I'm really looking forward to my Steam Deck so that I can play games like Medieval Dynasty uh, like on the move, <laughs> you know? I can have them portable, mobile, and I feel like I will enjoy them more. I'm very curious to see how capturing will work with a Steam Deck, or if it's even possible. Um, because if it is, that's exciting. That's a very exciting prospect to me because that means travel, like doing you know, gaming content while traveling will be very easy. And I'm excited about that. Because he's sore. The drive home wasn't as bad this morning, but still a bit of white knuckle drive. Whoa. Just want dry roads. Maybe you should have a nice Epsom salt bath. Because you ever done that? You got the nice Epsom salt. You run a hot, nice warm bath. Put your salts in. Mix them all in together. And then just get in there and soak. I'm not just saying this. It's actually really amazing for muscle soreness. And I did it regularly when I was in fight camps and in training camps. It's a game changer. It's every bit as effective as an ice bath, which is not nearly as pleasant to uh, experience. Not for me, at least. I do not like being cold. But ooh, the Epsom bath, the Epsom soak is a game changer. And I cannot recommend it enough. If you are unsure, if you are sore, if you are stressed, if you are tense, if you are any of these things, a good Epsom salt. And you can get Epsom salts from any, like, uh, what are they, like a Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid type of store. Any store like that. Um, you can usually get a big bag of Epsom salts for a very reasonable price. Uh, and just get generic ones. You don't need fancy ones. You don't need ones with scents in it. Just regular old generic Epsom salt. And run a nice bath and get a good soak. And it's a game changer. The man bath. Epsom salts, a movie, and a beer. That's, see, Cozy, that's what I'm talking about. You know all about this, man. Jenzilla, good morning, my dude. Lovely to see you. I see the plant babies in your profile picture. Have they always been there? Because if so, or did I mention that last time? I just really like it. It's adorable. Day, the day Kingdom Come Deliverance ruined me for medieval games. <laughs> Why? I think day was hilarious. Day. They were supposed to be saying good day, but they just said day. Which is why Girls Can Hoop, another member, always comes into the chat room and says day. Because she also found it amazing. This little boy is all snugged up, not saying a word, not saying a peep. This weedle boy. This weedle boy. Oh, that baby. Oh, that baby. I love, love, love this boy so much. He's brought so much joy to me already, y'all. So sweet boy. So sweet boy. This weedle boy. 
Jen's got to run. That's all good, Jen. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Goodbye. Have a great day. Here to pay the tax. Thank you so much for that. By paying the tax, Jen, of course, is referring to liking the video. So I hope everyone does that. And uh, But tomorrow you should be good to say, well, good. That sounds fun. Uh, we're talking about maybe perhaps doing something fun tomorrow. And I say we because that means I'll have friends, a.k.a. special guests, to play some games with me. Perhaps. Maybe. And if not, we'll play by ourselves, right? Like, we can do that. What is today? Thursday. I suggested it a while back and then I put them in there. Amazing, Gentzilla. I love it. For clarification, how many of those puppy nicknames were from you? Oh, on Puppy's, uh, on Puppy's story where it was like Puppy, Puppy Baby, um, Pupperino, uh, Pupper, uh, Pupperito. Pupperito is was one on there. I said Pupperino is on there, but we also needed Pupperito because when she wraps up in her blankies, that puppy is a Pupperito. Um, but you know, so we all listen. It all became a big mixing pot of puppy names, right? Even boy, uh, Stannis got started to get called boy because I was playing God of War, and he would be under my desk trying to get me to play. And I'd be like, boy, boy, like from the you know from the game. And then it just stuck. And then we all started calling him boy. Like, right? Then we started calling him boy at, like, Red Dead Redemption. Like, he was, like, boy. And that became a nickname for Stannis as well. Tootie Butt. Yep, she's definitely a Tootie Butt. My favorite thing about the day in the life of Puppy is that they actually caught on camera one of her toots. And it's... And the reaction is so perfect. Because this is exactly what Puppy does, where... She does it, and then she immediately gets embarrassed and, like, tries to, like, uh, you know, evacuate the area. Like, what? Oh, no, I don't want to, you know, what? Wasn't me? Mm-mm. It's so cute. She's so precious. Oh. Little shithead. Yep. She can be. Tiny Head. Tiny Head was a definitely a Charlie name. Tiny Head, because she does. Puppy has a little tiny, little tiny pibble head. She don't have a big old block head. I mean, it's a block, but it's a little tiny block. It's cute. Are Hoffman's heroes coming back? Maybe, Sussy. At some point, definitely. I would like for Hoffman's heroes to come back sooner rather than later. She's a sensitive soul, that precious puppy girl. She very much is. She's a very little sensitive baby. I need to get some more coffee. Good morning, Canis. Good morning, good morning to you and to everyone. If you're just now joining us, hi, hello, how are you? Uh, Mr. Wellington is asleep in his bed. I'm sorry if you would like to see him. You'll have to go back to the beginning of the stream and watch some of that. He was very cute. And, uh, right now, he's just passed out. Everybody's all down for some Hoffman's Heroes. Of course, of course. But, you know, we can't have Hoffman's Heroes without Hoffman. So, we gotta, we gotta work that out. You felt like Charlie did that name? What, little shithead? Because she did. Well, to, to, like, uh, uh, like, Tootie Butt. She was always, she's always been a tootie butt. I thought I heard a puppy, but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, the tiny head. That was definitely a Charlie. Have I put any more thought to doing a once a month member play day? I, not beyond what we talked about, that I also agree it's a good idea. I'm like, good idea. This is a good idea. This is a good idea. That's about how far I got on that one. Cause he's finally started playing Cyberpunk. It's not a bad game, but it's still a bit glitchy. Are you playing? Are you playing on console, Koozie? Because if you are, that does not surprise me. Let sleeping dogs lie and all of that. I know I can't disturb him. Oh, he's smiling. Let me take a picture of this baby. This, this, 
precious a baby. Oh, dish baby. Sleeping on him. Bugs Bunny. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wait, why is it twisted? Why does it do that? Hit it. Flip. There we go. Okay. Look at this. This is what I'm dealing with. Look at him sleeping on his Bugs Bunny. Look what a sweet boy. The best boy. Just let him have his little moment. Let him have his little sleepums. Oh. Ba -dum -ba -da -da -da. Da -da -da. You tried to take your s sissy house, your sissy house dogs out to the country where you grew up. The youngest one immediately tried to eat horse poop. We've got some learning to do. Oh, the poor, they're little city dogs. Little city dogs can't take them out in the country. They don't know how to act. You know? Because you're playing on PS5. I rarely, so, but did they actually release a PS5 version? Or is it the PS4? Four version that you can also play on the PC. See, I don't know, man. The console release of it was sketchy as fuck, and I just did not... I'm so glad I bypassed that entirely. It's a great game. Listen, if you have a badass PC to play it on, it's a great game. And I had basically no problems with it. I crashed once in the 80 hours. It, I think it, and it was at like 72 hours. Remember when we made a big deal about it? Once in all of that time. And I basically had no other glitches other than occasionally maybe seeing an item or something I couldn't loot, like tra basically like little, you know, whatever items. That's it. That's it. Godfall is free this month. You know, I heard a lot of things about Godfall. Big Daz just now paid the tax. You forgot. Oops. Well, maybe you're not the only one, Big Daz, and maybe you saying that will remind someone else. So for that, I thank you. And damn, did Millie just upgrade to Pro Gamer? Millie! Thank you, Millie. I appreciate that. Welcome to the ranks of the pro gamers. I hope you're ready to never die in a video game ever because you're not gonna. And not many people can say that. So enjoy the streak. It starts now. And uh, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Millie. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna guess it was because I showed the picture of Orson. That's what, I, that's what I'm gonna tell myself. What is my hair doing? What is my hair doing? What is it doing? What is that? What is that? No, that. That, I could put my, what is that? That's a, you know, I don't know, man. I have returned. Welcome, welcome back, Millie. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm almost out of coffee. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. It's the PS4 version on the PS5. Yeah, they really need to fix that. They really need to fix that. I don't mean to humble brag about my PC, okay? I don't. But I do have a badass PC. All right. Morning hair. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Um, okay, if you guys will, give me just a couple minutes. I'm going to refill my coffee, okay? stretch my legs and I'm going to come back and we're going to do a little bit more coffee chat, a uh, little fireside chit chat. I'm enjoying it. Um, I have until around 10 and then I got to, I got to prepare cause we got some bread to bake. And then after I break the, break the bread, bake the bread, um, I have to do, we have to make a run to the dump cause I have a lot of trash that I've been acquiring the past few days down here in, in, in my space. And so we need to make a big, that, that uh, bookshelf, yeah, the bookshelf's time to go. Time to send the bookshelf off into the sunset. So we got to do that. And I have to um, edit my videos. I got an Orlog video. I've got a bread baking video. I've got tons of stuff on my phone that I need to edit. So I have a lot of that. So I wasn't going to do a gaming stream today, but I am tomorrow. All right. And it will very likely involve special guests and maybe some heroes. All right. We'll, we'll see. All right. No promises. Cause you know, plans can change. 
but it's looking good. I'm going to say that. All right. It's looking real good. The baking and the breaking of bread. But we are not done yet. All right. I want to take a, just a real quick break to grab myself some fresh coffee. I think this boy will stay sleeping. At least I hope he will. Let him just stay sleeping while I do this real quick. But uh, by the way, does the quality, like Ty5 was like, you look 3D yesterday when I was streaming. Is that still the case when I do this? Or was it only, because like the lighting is different and I'm still working on that. I may, I, I haven't quite optimized it, you know, yet. So I'm still working on that. But does it still look good? Are we, are we looking good still? But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. But I'm going to take a quick break. The stream is not over. If you haven't yet, leave a like on this video. I would really like to hit 100 before I wrap this up. I would be really impressed if I did that. Um, and if you're lurking in the lagoon and you're not a member yet and you're considering it, just, uh, you know, really think about it. There's going to be lots of members-only streams. There's going to be members-only content. There's going to be members play days like Ty5 was talking about maybe some ball guys uh, you know some stuff that we can play that people can just jump in and out of but for my members and uh, so there's going to be lots of incentive for those of you that have joined the the, the, the members gang the hoodlum gang and uh, you know beyond just being able to chat in the chat room which as you can see from Millie's uh, behavior it is a really it is a great thing to experience and we are glad to have Millie back uh, but there's going to be even more. So if you're on the fence, just, uh, you know, maybe lean a little bit more. Just lean over, right? The more people I have jump onto that side of the fence and become members, the more established and secure I can become in my channel, which will allow me to continue to create the content that I enjoy and that I hope that you also enjoy. All right? Now, give me just a moment. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, everyone, we're back. This boy was awake. This boy was awake. Just, just pilfering around. Look what a pretty face. Look what a good boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Millie the Undying Gamer. Okay. <laughs> Orson caught me. He did. I came back downstairs and he was standing in his bed. But he had only just woke up. And then he got excited Came over to me just wiggling his tail like a good boy. Look at this, you good boy. You just a good boy, just a good boy, just a good boy. He's a good boy, he's a good boy, good boy, he's a good boy. He's a good boy, he's a good boy, he's a good boy, he's a good boy. Tell me the secrets, please tell me. <laughs> oh. mm. The dope jacket is that are you talking about mine? My cool uh my tree, my my blue forest jacket. I'm a I'm a big fan of this one. I couldn't wear these as much as I wanted to in Florida because it was never hot enough to wear them. Or sorry, it was never cold enough because they are too hot. But man, here this is great. I'm getting good use out of a lot of my wardrobe that I was not able to do in Florida, and I am very happy about it. Orsi, did you sniff the camera? Did you sniff the camera? Huh? Oh, this baby. Oh, this baby. This, look at these. Look at this. Tobins. Wait. Tobins. Wait, wait. Tobins. Toe beans. Orson Wellington is the finest man. Toe beans, toe beans, toe beans, toe beans. Yep. I love you, my boy. I love you, my boy. Yes, my boy. Where you going? You want back down? Where you want? You want in your bed? Here, just lay down. Just lay down, lay down, lay down. Lay down, lay down. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. We're going to help him sleep. We're going to help him sleep. Oh, this boy. Oh, dear boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good boy. Yeah, you like that? All right. What did I miss? So I did get some coffee. I did. A Toby. Look at this boy. He loves my my phone. He loves it. He, he's like, I have to keep him from trying to get it because he will try to eat my phone. Stannis is an accountant. Puppy is the very strict librarian. And Orson is the inspector. He's like, hello. Is anyone... Doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Mm. Mm. Oh, that baby. Here we go. You may go down into your bed. You may go down into your bed. There it is. There it is. Get your, get your ball. Get your bunny. There we go. That boy. So, Mia sent him with a, or sent me, rather, with a huge garbage bag full of toys that Stannis did not want for this puppy boy. 
before we even had him, okay, before I even met him officially, she was sending me with a big old bag of toys, and I've only so far pulled one toy out of the bag, and he's obsessed with it. So I I'm going to do like we would do with Puppy and Stance, where you kind of like, you kind of drizzle the toys out to them. You don't just give them all of them at once, all right? Uh uh, or see, boy. Where are you going? Inspector? Sir? Orson? Where are you going? Those are your puppy pee pads. Does that interest you? Let me let me retrieve him. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Inspector. Inspector. Boy, this boy, this boy, this boy, this boy, this boy, Orson Wellington is Toby's boy. This boy, this boy, this boy, this boy. He loves it all. Yep, he does. There we go. Now we're going to massage him until he falls asleep on my legs, and then we'll place him back into the bed. This is the secret. This boy's learning how to be a good stream dog. My sister heard my rendition of Toe Beans for the first time yesterday. And I guess it got stuck in her head. And she was like, no, I hurt. Like, I can't believe you did that. And I'm like, what? I've been, I'm like, I've been singing Toe Beans for weeks. Like, weeks. Like, before I even moved, I was singing Toe Beans about Isis and Puppy. Or Isis, Puppy, and Stannis. Both of them. Toe Beans. Toe Beans. Like, it's perfect. All right? It's perfect. The, the song should be Toe Beans. That's all I'm going to say. All right? Good boy. Dej boy. He got to make sure everything's up to code. The inspector boy. It's very fitting of his personality. Oh, wait, relax, lay down, lay down. That's a good boy. 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 Little Orson Wellington, little Orson Wellington, little Orson Wellington boy. You went down now? You went down now? Oh, that's a big stretch. He's he stretched down into his bed. There you go. Uh -uh. No, you gotta stay. That's my boy right there. I'll hold your head with my foot. Yes, I will. I will do that. I don't mind. I'm happy to be a holder of the heavy head. <sighs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, catch my toes. Stop. Guys, I have every pair of socks I have that I've worn since I since I got this boy. Hey, 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 hey. Every pair of socks I have has holes in it now. Every pair. I'm going to look back on these socks and be like... Yep, that's from when Orson was a baby, you know? I got that puppy album almost finished. I had a ow! Don't bite me! I guess that's what happened when you leave your foot under Bugs Bunny. Oh my god. Good boy. You good boy. Ow. Do not. Ah. 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 He knows that as like the the noise. Hey, where's your teething toys right here? There you go. The teething inspector. God, I know. Oh, there it is. 
Now he's on it. Now he's distracted on the teething. He's good. Thank you to everyone that has liked this video. So what else did we talk about? We did... Tomorrow, we might do some... Some Hoffman's Heroes, perhaps. That would be great. I would love to do that. So it's seeming like that will probably be the case. And it will likely be at a normal-ish time. Um... Depending on when that is, if we can if we can coordinate it, I may or may not do a morning fireside chat, but maybe I will. Just depends. Um, we talked about Valhalla. Obviously, we have Valhalla. We talked about the uh, the PlayStation Five, and I but I still have to, I gotta get those headphones, or I've gotta get the headphones I have working. I've looked up, you know, why can't my why can't I connect my PS4 headphones with my PS5? And there are lots of things saying, oh, you, you can, you should, you are, you know, you can. You just do this, do that. And I do it, then it doesn't work. That's really frustrating. But then, and then I also read people saying, yeah, I tried to do the same thing and it did not work, which is very, very frustrating. Uh, do not, let's fix our thing here. Okay. Koozie demands the chit-chat. I enjoy the chit-chat. I do. I'm fixing, I'm adjusting my mic right now. There we go. I would like to do the chit-chat. But if it conflicts with my ability, if we could do Hoffman's Heroes, and it's only, it's one of the, uh, you know, one or the other, I'm definitely going to go with the Hoffman's Heroes. It's been too long. We played some Black, Back for Blood. The game is just complete chaos, which is great. And if you guys remember, I don't know if you do remember, but myself and Mia and RJ, last time we played it, we got destroyed in the the final, you know, the final level of the third act. We haven't even made it to the fourth act. We were trying to just beat the the final level of the third act, and it was not good. It was not it was not good at all. So Oh, of course. Oh, well, so, Ty Five, you'll be happy to know, we, we still sing the Massimo song. We've taught it to Orson because he needs to know. It's part of his lineage, you know, the Massimo, 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 Massimo cheese. 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 He just looked up at me like, you hear that? And you hear your brother's song? Okay. That's so sweet. He goes back to chewing. So he also enjoys the Massimo cheese song. But that it only works with Massimo. You can't do any other... You can't do any other names with the Massimo cheese. And then you guys are going to have to ask RJ on his coffee show to sing the Suzetta song. Suzetta. I can't do the voice that he does. I just met a girl named Suzetta. He has a whole Suzetta song, and you need to ask him to sing it. Suzetta. It was very sweet. It was a very sweet song. It was very fitting of a of a Suzetta. Suzetta, Suzette. That's when you're really Italian. That's how you say it. Did we remember to put the uh, small body boys teething toys in the freezer? I did. Now the ones he's chewing on right now are not cold ones. There's another freeze one in, or another cold one in the freezer. But I'll do the old switcheroo later. But he's uh, he's teething himself to sleep. What a good boy! Just gonna lay in his bed and chew and chew. And I'm so proud of him. I love when he's good like that. Such a good boy. When, when Sandy was little, she always woke me up early with her needle teeth. My hand was totally destroyed. Guys, I am I am legit, like, cut up. If you watch any of the videos... Okay, first of all, this was when he actually got me. This is the only time he ever actually broke the skin. Let's see if it'll focus. Uh, uh, nope, don't focus on the gamer. Don't, why can't I see it? Right... There. That. There it is. Oh, almost. That is where he broke the skin. That was the first time he broke the skin. 
And it's because his little needle teeth are coming through. Everything else has been like little scratches or scrapes or whatever. Although that one was a pretty good one too. Can you see? Oh yeah, right there. Little scab. Like I am, I am eight up from this boy. Look at my hand. Wait, right there. Look at that. This boy has scarred me. Not terribly, but you know. He has. It's worth it. There's a Zuzetta song. Yes, there is. Zuzetta. I can't do the voice. I can't do it. I just met a girl named Zuzetta. I think I'm too high on the key in that one, but, but again, I did not come up with this song. He did. So you, again, he has a live stream that he does every week. You need to ask him to sing the Zuzetta song. Zuzetta. Oh, and now this boy chewing on him Bugs Bunny. Final level of third is hard. I would say one person, is, one person, plenty of pipe bombs, and the others with a super granadas and stick together. See, sticking together is our problem. Um, one person pop pimples, the others cover. Definitely have a game plan. This is a good game plan, Daz. And I will share it with the others. Mmm, good coffee. A good morning. A good morning. Hello to all of you that may just now be joining my stream. Happy to see you. This is a fireside coffee chat. And it's called that because there's the fire. Here's the coffee. And it says coffee and Mr. Wellington live. Well, Mr. Wellington is indisposed at the moment. He's teething because he's a baby. And uh, he's going to be busy probably for the next 30 to 45 minutes, I hope at least. Ted bit you once the day or the day after you brought him home. Oh, at four months, that broke the skin and it really made me bleed. He realized that it hurt me and never did it again. Oh. Tedman didn't mean it. Tedman the Chunky was an accident. He didn't do it on purpose. Listen, Orson, Orson has not quite figured out. Um, so if he, he enjoys doing like a, uh, like he like, like gums your anything your hand whatever he wants to like like whatever and it doesn't hurt and it's really cute and i like him to do it and he'll be going uh, and then all of a sudden he'll go ha and he'll just chomp on whatever you know whatever it is a foot and a, a toe a hand a leg an achilles listen he has straight up chomped my achilles and i thought i was like going down okay but it's so sweet and you're like oh sweet baby oh dear sweet baby Oh, just wee baby. And then he just, you know, just, just rips. It's just, you know, oh, see, he's kissing me right now. It's so sweet. Yeah, lick, lick. It goes a little mlim, mlim, a little mlim, 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 mlim. It's so sweet. And then honk, and then he just gets you. And he's not quite figured out. And I try to get him to understand I do the, eh, well, I don't want to do it now, but like the, eh, really loud. And he doesn't like that. He realizes that's like a negative noise. And I tried to make him feel bad for when he brought blood. Like, I tried. It didn't quite, I don't think it quite sank in to him just yet that it was, uh, you know, really bad. But but I'm just a baby, and we're working on it. And I will say, Nixie and Triton have been really good for him as far as that goes because it's, I think they are helping him learn how to play in a more acceptable way because he also tries to do it to them, and if he bites them, they're like, blah, 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 you know, they do their, like, they're still playing, but they're also like, too hard, you little shit. Uh, you know, and whatever. They just... I have so many videos of them playing. I need to post more on this page. They're so cute. They're so cute. Good morning, Diesel. Millie says, by the way, I love the new set. Well, what's not to love? It's a it's a fireside. We, the OK Gamer sign is back. The artwork that Shayna and Charlie got me is back. You know, what's not what's not to love? And now we have Albert, the Christmas alpaca, and we have Treebeard, the incense burner. I need to put some incense on my wish list so I can get some incense and, and get it, uh, get Mr. Treebeard smoking back there. I'd enjoy that incense. Is there, like, 
incense that is not harmful to dogs. Dog friendly incense. Here we go. Perfect. Yep. Well, that's very cheap, actually. Purifies your surroundings. Uh huh. We enjoy this. Good. Mm hmm. They seem pet safe, which is good. We have jasmine, lavender, ocean, lemon, and and relaxing. Oh, and sandalwood. Mm. So nice. How do I make, how do I add these to my list? Hey, hey, do not chew on metal. You know the rules. You know the rules, no metal chewing. There you go, there you go. Susetta, I just met a girl named Susetta. Are they just like a random or what? Because I want the specific ones, but it's not letting me. No way you get all of those for that price. No way. Where are you going, Inspector? Oh, my Lord. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hey, Inspector. Inspector Wellington. 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 So, for any of you that don't know, um, bulldogs are supposed to be picked up in a way that supports their, their butt and their chest. So when you pick them up, you pick them up evenly, like this, right? And it's easy when he's little. And uh, this was actually one of the first things Mia taught me about Stannis. And it was how to, with him, you had to kind of grab under his butt like this and then under his chest. And then, yeah, you can do like a little zercher squat type of uh, grip. Yeah, you see that? But because he's so little, I go, oh, look at them noodle legs. He's so little, we let this boy just go, go limp noodle. And then you can do your squats, just like that. See? Just the squats, the squats, the squats. Isn't that right, Mr. Wellington? Isn't that right? Look at them noodle legs. Look at these. A blib 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 huh dude did you guys see this so look front paw front paw toe beans are pink and black and he's got little pink nails back paw toe beans are black with little black toenails isn't that the just the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen back toe beans are one Front toe beans are another. Have you ever seen that? Hmm? If Orson didn't live 12 hours away, I'd borrow him for a play date with Ted in California. He loves the kitties. He, listen, he and River play all day. And River 
at first acted like she was just not interested in this, but then she started to try to tempt him. She started to try to play with him. She's teasing him. She's like, really? I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, River wants to play with him. She is asking for it. Um, and then he chases her, but he's also very sweet and like, he doesn't barrel into her like he does with the dogs. I think he's learned that she's not down with that. So he'll chase her. And even if he corners her, he's like, you know, and then she's like, Pepe, Pepe, and then, and then runs off. So sweet. I love watching them play together. You a good boy with kitties. You a good boy with kitties. Oh, do I have to hold the head? We have to hold the heavy head. I got you. I've got you, sweet boy. New idea. Sport with dogs. Yeah, do it's like, you ever seen those, like, they're like, do yoga with your baby. Well, I could do it with my baby. My fur baby. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. M's a Wellington. An Orson Wellington. A little Wellington. A little Wellington. An Orson Wellington, a little Wellington, Orson Wellington. This is his favorite song uh, when I'm putting his lotion and stuff on. It makes him go to sleep. He's got two different color paws and two different toe beans. Yes, front toe beans are pink with pink nails and little black spots. Back toe beans are all black with little black toenails. And I, I think it's just the cutest, cutest thing. Ted would be scared. He's the dweeb in high school with the tape on his glasses. Oh, California is a tank, and he would love to try and wrestle Orson. They that would be adorable. That would be adorable. He's pretty good. Like when when the cats are kind of sketchy. Like he's very careful with Hazel, who's like way more elusive and not. She's like. That's how I'm like, I can tell that River wants to play because Hazel is really does not want to play. So she just bypasses and avoids him like, nope, not interested. Going to go this way. But River will like she will walk directly in Orson's path with her tail just a fluffing. And I'm like, mm hmm, like she's she's trying to entice him. And then he's like, huh? And then he has to chase her. And then she runs and she enjoys, I think, like parkouring up the couch to avoid him. It's really cute. I missed your Wellington. 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 Mr. 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 Wellington, Mr. Wellington, Mr. Mr. Wellington. That's the new song. You do the kisses as the beat. Oh, did you, baby? You wanna lay down? You wanna lay down? Okay, 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 okay. Here you go. But you gotta lay in your bed, boy. You gotta lay in your bed. Right here. Here's a Bugs Bunny. Hey, this one here. There we go. Maybe I need to entice him with the cold teething toy. He's, he seems to be over the old one. He's like, eh. Eh. Orsi. Could you not? Oh my goodness, he is all. Hold on. Orson. Orson. Are you just... He's not really bad about getting into things. But if you don't watch him, he might. Orson. Eh. He was just sniffing something he's not supposed to be. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And then he turns around and he's like, oh, sorry, I wasn't, uh, I was just in, just checking out the corner over here. Nothing, uh, nothing to see. Orson, get over here. 
Yeah, I see you. In curious Inspector. Mr. Curious. The, the, this area is not puppy-proof yet, so I do not feel comfortable just letting him wander about. Uh, it is definitely not puppy-proof. It will be one day, and it'll be fine, but, but right now, you really gotta keep a close eye on him. It's like a toddler. You gotta keep an eye on him. I had to order a baby gate yesterday because he decided that he wanted to climb up the stairs after me. And uh, we can't be having that. So this boy is banned, and we've now got a baby gate. Yeah, you can lay over there. I don't care. You sniff that. That's fine. Oh, my God. He found the bag of toys. He found the giant bag of toys I was telling you about. How do I care for Orson? I mentioned a lotion. What's it for? I w would love to. And you know what? I especially need to because it will be great for a video. Um... Do uh, in a day in the life of Orson Wellington, I can talk about his little self, his little, you know, well, it's not self care. I care for him, um, but his little pamper routine that I do. And he has a variety of creams and, uh, and balms that we use on him. So he has uh, the main one. Where'd he go? The main one is he has his wrinkle wipes. And so you clean the folds of his wrinkles under his face every day, at least once a day. I usually do it in the mornings because he, if he's crusty or anything from the night before, which he's really not been. Um, but you wipe the folds clean with a little special medicated wipe. And then you... And then you take a wrinkle cream and you put it on his, like in the folds, right? And you just massage it in and it protects and cleans and, uh, and, and just keeps it from getting gross, right? Which they can get infected and cause lots of bulldogs problems. Um, and so we put the little wrinkle cream on him as well. And then right now he has a topical ointment for some of the, he had some like, he had some itching problems and we had him checked. He did not have mites of any sort. He did not have any type of skin infection, but he had a couple sores. And so there's one on his little arm that I'm about, it's almost gone. And so I put some ointment on his little, his little paw sore that he had to keep that healthy. Then he's got snoot butter, right? You got the snoot butter that goes on the end of his little nose to keep it all healthy and moisturized and not dry and gross. Um, and what else? Well, though that is the daily. That's like the every day. Now, he also has a soothing skin spray, which helps um, with like general itching and stuff when he was really itching at his belly and his paws. Spray some of the spray on there. He loved that. It was great. Um, and then just basic ear cleaning. He likes the ear cleaning as well. He enjoys it, but his ears are very clean. He's a very clean boy. So I will, listen, the, the, the caring part of it will be a huge part of a day in the life of Orson Wellington. Because I will say this, if you think you want to get a bulldog at all, you need to understand that that should be a daily routine for you. It should not be a thing like, well, I'm only going to do it if it gets bad. Because it will. It will get bad. You have to take care of them, all right? And I am, I am so, <laughs> I enjoy it so much. I'm so happy to do it that it's fine. But I do think it is important that people know that going in if you are thinking about getting a bulldog. Because listen, they're really cute, okay? Bulldogs are adorable. Um, but they are a lot of work and they are a lot of responsibility. But they are so worth it. They are so worth it. His crown, his little black eye, his two different ears. He is a perfection like his siblings already. I agree, Millie. I absolutely agree. I, I don't know how I did it. I don't know I don't know how I did it, but I, I, I absolutely found the perfect boy. And he makes me so happy. He makes me so happy. And he does love his mama so much. Y'all, you don't understand. This dog, this dog is up my ass 24-7. He cries if I leave the room. He wants to be wherever I'm at, and usually he just wants to sleep. Right now, uh, he's being a little curious. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little surprised he's been, he's been taken out to go use the potty right now. So, he's, uh, which is what I think maybe, because like that's what he does when he has to use the bathroom. He kind of gets up and starts pilfering, probably looking for a place to pee, because um, that's what he was doing at night. 
and and we had a few accidents. But he's really good with the puppy pads, and so we had a few, you know, he peed on the puppy pads a couple nights uh, before I got him outside. And then the last couple nights, he slept all the way through and had no accidents. But about 5.30 in the morning, he's awake, and he's ready to go outside. And if I don't take him out, then he'll pee. And I'm like, well, that's on me, right? Like, that's on me. I need to get him outside. And he's been so good. He's so good. He's a good boy. He's a good, good boy. A day in the life of Orson will be a video I will do very soon. As soon as I get the other stuff edited that I'm working on, um, I don't want to. I don't want too many to back up on me because I'll get overwhelmed and and start losing footage, and I don't want to do that. Um, but, but I do want to do a day in the life of Orson Wellington. He's finally getting his own little routine, and it's so sweet. The puppy is a morning person, dude. Uh, not really. He's really only a morning person once because he, he wakes up around five five thirty. He wants to go to the bathroom. He comes back in. He passes out. He sleeps until I take him upstairs at about 7. And then between 7 and 7.30, all the dogs get fed. So he knows once he goes upstairs, he gets real excited. And I have to give him his little medicine because um, he had that little cold. So he's been on antibiotics. So we've been, you know, been giving him that. So it's like his little appetizer in the mornings. Um, but then he is, you know, he's super excited about his breakfast, eats his food, has to go outside and poop immediately, because if he doesn't, he'll go poop under the Christmas tree or something. Um, and then he will maybe play a little bit with Nixie and Triton, like get a little bit of a, you know, get a little bit of a morning play sesh in with his cousins. I think he's ready to pass out, like pass out. Comes down here and sleeps. I think this morning, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna put this in the freezer right now. Um, I think he's teething and I think it makes him restless and he can't get comfortable and he can't whatever. And he's like, I think he, I think it's when he's teething that he really gets like that. So I'm hoping him going outside. Cause usually once he goes outside and pees, he's passed out. He don't want to do nothing. Right. He don't want to do nothing. One moment. I'll be right back. I'm going to put this in the freezer. Okay. Take care, Big Daz. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck. Good luck with your booster jab, man. Vampire. Why? Listen, the vampire crew, y'all can have it. I get my work done in the mornings. I am productive in the mornings. I make the most of the mornings. Although, Koozie, Koozie, were you in here yesterday when I was talking about the potential change to my stream? Uh, not potential, it's happening, um, at least for a little while, a schedule change where other than on the weekends, but during the week, my stream schedule will be in the evenings. So it'll be kind of flipped from what we've been doing. Um, I will still do fireside chit chats, but they may be, I don't know, like an evening fireside chit chat, not necessarily a coffee chit chat, but, but maybe, um, so, you know, we could potentially do that. But, yeah, during the week, Monday through Friday, I will likely, uh, if I stream, be streaming in the evenings. Now, on the weekends, I will very likely still be doing what I've always done, which is to have my big, long gaming streams. And, you know, we always say the weekends are for gaming. And that's not changing. But as far as during the week, the Monday through Friday streams, I will, uh, starting... Next year, it'll be in January, so it won't be until next year, so until then, and also, you know, Christmas is coming up, I'm going to be driving home to my mom's, like, it's going to be some changes, or not changes, but like, uh, the, 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 the content and the streams we all have to be flexible on, because there's a lot going on, but basically, once we get into January, I will have an extremely consistent schedule, and I'm excited about that, but it will mean that my streams will likely be, not likely, they will be happening in the evenings. I keep saying likely, but it's happening. Um, so I didn't know if you heard that, uh, Koozie. I thought you might be excited about that. 
I give Orson so much love that he knows and he loves me very much too. I think you're right, Sussy. I think this boy loves me so much. He's a good boy. He's a sweet boy. Oh, dear boy. Where's that boy? I want that boy. Give me that boy. Give me that boy. Give me that boy. Whoa, slippery. Slippery. Oh, look at the ins Oh, God. Look at the inspector, everyone. <clears throat> look at the inspector here. Did, we have Did you go out shy? You have a nice poop? Did you have a nice poop? Oh, he did have a nice poop. Are we going to be tired now? Mm. You like that one, don't you? Yeah, you like that one. I know you do. Oh, my baby. Can I have this ear? May I? Oh. Can I have that? <laughs> he learns so much from Nixie and Triton. He does. He absolutely learned how to sit from Nixie and Triton. He figured that one out right away. He was like, oh, we sit and then we get food? Yeah, I can do that. Um, cause he's a pretty smart boy. He's a pretty smart boy. I've been really pleased with his, uh, training that we've been doing. A little Christmas fertilizer. I know, except it's a fake tree. So it did not work. <laughs> as, as I think he intended, you know. Good morning, Red Dog, by the way. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Alley Cat. Nice to see you all. Thank you for being here. Lovely to have you. Alley Cat's gotta go. That's all good, Alley Cat. Just as long as you remember to leave a like on the video. And that goes... For all of you, anyone and everyone that drops in even just to say hello, please leave a like on this video. Because if you do, you're actively helping me grow my channel and telling the YouTube algorithm to not only show you things like this more often, but to show other people things like this more often. And my stream, it will literally share my stream more to people, the more people that like it. So it's a, it's, it's free. It's a great way to support me, and it's the only thing that I ask people do, okay? And I'll be honest, I get a pretty good like ratio, so I'm pretty happy. So thank you to all of you that do those things for me. You just realized when watching the Puppy Trees video that my plant chicha area is inside the house. Yeah, where did you think it was? Did you think it was outside? Oh, Lord, no. No, that's the plant corner. We love it there. He's the most handsome boy. Yay for evening streams. Millie likes the evening streams. Okay. Um... Red dog will have to start going to bed early. I Listen, I am aware anytime you change a schedule at all that it works great for some people and it also doesn't work great for other people. But what I can promise you is it will be consistent. Um, and I'm still we're still kind of working out the details of exactly what that consistency will look like. But the 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 there will definitely be evening streams. They will most likely be shorter like two to three hours in the evenings, uh, and I'll save the weekends for my big super, you know, my, my big long gaming sessions. Um, and then, you know, I'll also be recording a lot of content. So my VR corner will be set up by then. I'll be able to pre-record a lot of gameplay as well. Me and RJ City can play Sea of Thieves and record it. Like, there's going to be a lot of content on the channel. Um, but as far as the live streams... During the week, they will be in the evenings. Uh, on the weekends, they will be, you know, whenever I feel like having them. All right. See, Millie forgot to pay the tax. It happens. It's easy to do. All right. Don't feel guilty about it. Just, just, just do it. It's fine. That's why I say it a few times. Oh, I thought that was rain, but it was like a thing kicking on. I'm still getting used to all the weird sounds down here. All right. Um... Ty Five is in full, complete sort support of evening streams. Well, because you can be here, you won't have to risk your job to watch. I know. I wish you wouldn't. I know you like your job. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, you know, I don't want to put that at risk at all. Ty Five, but I know you're responsible, so we appreciate having you here. Fixed it. Thank you, Millie. If you go to your mama's for Christmas, will you show us where you grew up? So I will. Sh ha so I have streamed from my mom's house before. There are some old RimWorld streams from my mom's house. And uh, my stepdad got banned forever from being on my streams because he said something... What was it, Ty5? Something about beating the meat. 
And it was really a technical thing that he was doing, but my mom was horrified when he said it. Like, he just came in from outside and said it, and she was like, she's live, what are you doing? And he was like, what, I'm just telling you what I was doing. And he did not mean for it to sound vulgar. And she was like, you're not allowed. Um, So I have streamed from my mom's house, but my mom's house is not where I grew up, but it is in Kentucky. Um, But it's not in Southeast Kentucky. Kentucky. So I, let's see, I'm trying to think how old I was when mom moved into the house she's in right now. I was, she was, it was like 17, 18 years old when she moved into the house that she's in now. And it's where I went, it's where I lived when I went to college. And um, I definitely spent a lot of time in that house. But the show you where I grew up uh, videos will have to wait until another time because I have not gone back to Southeast Kentucky. I'm, and I don't know when I'm going to go for sure next, but definitely that's going to be a, you know, that's going to be a fun one because I do really want to show people where I grew up. I, I, I feel like, I don't know. I'm like, I haven't explained this well enough. All right. And I need to, you thought it was outside. Wow. Really? No, no, no. The, uh, the plant corner is tucked in a nice little corner. Uh, in the house, it's amazing. It's like my favorite spot in the house up there. Grace enjoys the evening streams. Good to know. Koozie, gotta go to sleep. Enjoy your rest, Koozie. You deserve it. Thank you for hanging out, as always. It's always a pleasure having you here. And I will see you in the next stream. Sabretooth! Sabretooth! With the pro gamer re-up. My dude, you are officially a covert survivor. That is such great news, Sabretooth. I am happy to hear that, man. I am glad you're okay. I am glad that you are on the mend. We are happy to see you back. And uh, and I was asking about you, too. I actually did a tie five will tell you. I messaged uh, her saying, like, have you heard anything? Has anyone said anything? So I'm really glad to hear that, Sabretooth. We are glad to have you back, man. He was going back outside to grill and says he was going to beat on the meat. And mom, yeah, my mom about lost his mind, her mind. <laughs> well, how did I stream at when you did the first phone live stream with the fire in the background? Pretty. So was there like a tree and a fireplace? Because that was my mom's house. There's a RimWorld stream, and I'm wearing like a funny elf hat and everything, like a like a like a like a crazy elf Santa hat. That's at my mom's house. You can check it out. Oh, I've got a melty boy in my lap. Oh, now he's got it. Sweet, sweet Orson boy. Sweet, sweet Orson boy. There we go. See, he's not, he not a morning person. That boy just had to go poop, and he was restless. He was just restless, and he was probably looking for somewhere to lay the Christmas Yule log. And luckily, he was taken outside before that happened. See, I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to be able to be like, "Uh uh-huh, I recognize this. I know what you're doing. Ooh, we are at 88 likes, y'all. I only need 12 more, and I can get to 100. That would make me really happy. If I could get these fireside uh, chit-chats up to average about 100 likes, and then, like, 40 to 50 viewers, I would be really happy with that. I think that would be a really good sign. Um, And it's something I enjoy immensely. I'm glad I've started doing it. It's very fitting. Later we have time. Ooh, you'll enjoy it, Sussy. You'll enjoy it. No, it was a fire pit outside. There was a big hill, and Haji had to put a quad bike away or something. Oh! That was at the Southeast Kentucky house. Yes, it was. The fire pit. Yes. Yes, yes. I do remember that one, actually. And yes, that was back home. Uh, in what we call the Little Yellow House, or a.k.a. Granny's House. Um, but it's also, it's now my sister's house back home. But it but it always has been Granny's House, so that's what we call it. Um, but yep, good, good, good. Is, I wonder, is that, 
Is that on YouTube somewhere, or was that before Twitch? I can't remember. I feel like that was on Twitch, and I hate that I did that, because now I don't have the replay. That was a good one. A good morning, Mia! A good morning! Hello! I just put this sweet little Orsi boy down in his bed, or I would show you his cute little face, that little mush, although I send you plenty of photos and videos, so I know you know what he looks like. But how are you? Good morning. Nice to see you. People have been asking about the return of Hoffman's heroes. How do you feel about that? Hmm? Good morning, Eric! The spawn is here. You'll give me 89 what? I, 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 I don't know what I'm talking about. Who knows? Unlike us thinking Puppy Girl was just loving on us and then peed on the rug. Well, she had also been taking medicine and they warned us that... Not only would it make her drink more water, but it would also make her pee more, which was like, they you really... So I was every hour taking her out, but she was also very excited to see Ty Five, and she peed on the rug. But you know what? It was fine. I wanted to get rid of that rug anyway, so I was glad that she peed on the rug. It was just an excuse to get rid of it then. Ugh. That's not safe. It was on your... See? This is why I switched to YouTube, because I'm so... I'm so upset at so many good streams that are just lost forever to to you know to the cosmos because I didn't do them on YouTube. So it's like that that way anything that I've put on YouTube it will always be here. I will all I will continue to make money off of it. People will be able to continue to enjoy it. Um it's the best, right? I hate that my streams and stuff are not available. I hate it. And even the even the ones that I downloaded and re-uploaded to YouTube, that's a lot of extra steps. When YouTube basically does it automatically for me, right? It puts it in the right playlist. It uploads it. It does it does everything I want just automatically. So for me, YouTube was the right move. Okay, it really was, and this is why. Because that was a fun that was a fun stream, the fire pit stream. I'll do I'll do another one though. Don't worry. Hoffman's heroes, we ready? We're ready. We ready. Oh, you bumped it to 89, but now it's up to 92. Now it's up to 93. We almost there. Let's get to 100. Let's get to 100 likes. If you haven't liked the video yet, just like it. I feel like there's probably seven people either lurking in the lounge uh, or, you know, maybe someone dropped in and just has forgotten and not done it yet. That's completely fine. Just a reminder, leave a like. A high like ratio helps my channel grow almost more than anything that people do. And it's completely free. It takes one second for you to do it. You just click the little thumbs up button and then boom, you've done your part for the day. And I'm good. Um, so please do that. It's very helpful. Uh, and then the final thing, the last thing I'll mention before I go is uh, memberships. Memberships, memberships, memberships. I have two memberships available on this channel. Okay Gamers and Pro Gamers. Now, as of right now, in this very moment... The memberships are are technically exactly the same. All right, you're gonna get the same benefits for both, regardless of which one you sign up for. All right, the OK Gamer is a four ninety nine a month membership, and the Pro Gamer is a nine ninety nine a month membership. That option exists solely to give people the flexibility to support my channel in whatever way they feel comfortable. And for some people, they enjoy the pro gamer uh, status and level of membership. That's what they want to support with. And I am, of course, incredibly grateful for that. But the perks, as of right now, are exactly the same. The perk, main perk being, you can chat in the chat room, all right? Any live stream that I have, you can chat in the chat room. Any members only live streams that I do, you have access to and will be notified of when I start them. However, in the future, I am starting to have more members-only streams, meaning it will be a smaller group of people and viewers, but that also means you will have more of my attention. So whether it's a, we're doing a recipe and we're cooking something um, and you want to watch live and you have questions about what we're doing, or it's a members only live Q&A so that whatever questions you may have, I can be right there to answer immediately and engage. Um, and then members only play days, not play dates, uh, but member member plays, member play days. We got to come up with a better name than that. But basically, 
those of you that are members and also have whatever game I might be playing for that day can jump in and you can play with me. Members are obviously going to be first in line for those sorts of perks. But the, the main one is I'm going to be doing a lot more members-only live streams, and I want you guys to have the access to those. You, you will be able to watch them after the fact. So if you're like, oh, I can't become a member yet, dang, like I'm going to miss it. Well, not totally. You might miss the live experience of it, but the replays will be up later because I don't want to hide my content from people. I want everyone to be able to watch. I want everyone to be able to enjoy um, and you know, they, what you, what you won't be able to do is interact live. That's like, that's the big thing, right? So I don't want people to worry like, oh my God, there's going to be all this content and I'm never going to get to see it. You will. It's going to be there. That's the point of this channel is to share that stuff. Um, but maybe you're on the fence about becoming a member. Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you do want to support the channel, but you are like, I don't, you know, <clears throat> donating is a lot, and it is. Super chats are a lot, and some people aren't necessarily, you know, they're not equipped or capable or able to do that, and that is completely fine. And I don't want people to feel like you have to do this to to be a part of the community, because you don't, okay? Lurkers are hoodlums too, all right? I, I do want everyone that watches my channel to feel like they are a part of it. Um, it's just the levels are different, right? Um, the, the comment section is always open and I would love for people to leave comments. I enjoy reading them. I enjoy responding to them. Uh, and I, I hope that you continue to do that and do it more, but there's a, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff. Members only content is a thing I really want to, you know, push and, um, make, you know, I want there to be a lot of incentive because as I've explained to you guys, the memberships is how this channel becomes sustainable to me. It's the key, right? And so I'm like, I need more people to be, I need more members, right? The subscribers are great. And I always am going to want more subscribers, but the members are the key. So how do I make being a member really enticing to people? Well, you got to make lots of members only content. All right. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if you're on the fence, I'm telling you, now is the time. All right. Um, it would be a great way to support me in this channel. It's a monthly membership. You'll have all of the member perks, access to all of the member streams, um, and, the mem and the live member-only Q&As. All of these things will be available to you, as well as being able to chat and interact in every single live stream that I do. All right? Um, and then some. I'm going to continue adding things to this list until I hit that number of members that I'm looking for, where I can be like, I'm good. Now I'm good, and I can relax and just continue to create my content. And then, as I like to say, everything after that is just icing on the cake, right? I want to get to that point where everything is just icing on the cake, and like, I'm good, stable, sustained, all of these words. These, this is what I'm seeking, all right? So I'm trying to be as transparent as possible with you guys uh, in hopes that it will pay off, and I think that it will, but that's what I have to say about memberships. So I hope that, you know, if you're on the fence, maybe you decide to jump over and get on this side of the fence and maybe just say hello in the chat or not at all. By the way, just because you become a member does not mean you have to chat in the chat room. Some people aren't really into that. That is okay. I'm one of those people. I am members of certain YouTube channels and used to be members of certain Twitch streams that I never chatted in because it just wasn't why I watched. I just wanted to support the streamer. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be a part of the community and support the streamer, but I also didn't necessarily have the time or the energy to fully involve myself in the community and in the chat rooms that way. It's a lot. And I understand that. So, so please don't ever feel like, oh, you know, I would become a member, but I can't really chat. It's totally okay. If you just want to support the stream, like I will appreciate it. I will shout you out. Uh, and be forever grateful for the the support that you guys show me on my channel. So I hope that I hope that uh, you know everyone understands. And I'm so happy that I got to do this this morning. I'm hoping that maybe once I wrap it up, we can go over a hundred likes. We're very close now, but I do have to go, guys, because I got some bread to make. I got some. Uh, ovens to preheat. I got some more cleaning to do down here today. I have to get my brother to take me to the dump at some point today so I can get rid of a lot of this trash that I've been piling up in here, including the bookshelf. 
Um, so there's a lot more to do, and I've got more work to do on my VR station. So I hope that everyone has enjoyed the nice little cozy fireside chit chat. I'm going to let this boy sleep and rest because he's a precious angel and I don't want to disturb him. But thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for all of your memberships and those of you that re-upped your memberships. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you to all of you that just watched. If you watched and you left a like on this video, thank you. You are helping me get one step closer to living my dream. And I'm enjoying taking you guys along on the journey. So let's keep it up. Let's keep doing this. Tomorrow, Hoffman's Heroes, anyone? Does this sound like a great idea? I think we're ready. I think people are on. I will let you guys know exactly. Uh, I may post in my community tab to also prep people for the return of Hoffman's Heroes. Um, and if you're curious, you can go watch on my channel, on RJ City's channel, and on Mia's channel, our individual perspectives of us playing Back for Blood, which is what we're talking about, by the way. Uh, and you should check them out. Remember to like those videos. Remember to subscribe to Mia's channel and to RJ's channel and support them um, because they, you know, we all play games together and it helps everyone. So please do that. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to go bake some bread and, uh, and take care of this boy. So I appreciate you all. And that's it. Bye. And Albert the alpaca says bye as well. And Treebeard.